Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. It's by friends at yarnspirations.com. Today is the Cairn Colorama Halo, and it's a beautiful yarn, and it transitions here, and the color that you're seeing is called Blue Raspberry. So whether you decide to go from the outside of the ball to the interior, the next ball you're going to want to go from the interior out in order to get the transition that you see. So you can see when we go to start it, they started from the outside of the ball, they worked their way all the way to the interior, and then the second ball they used the interior and started working out. So this particular one uses a ball in a bit when it comes to this. So if you wanted to do a second shawl, which is a great idea, I would start from the end of this color here, start again, and that will take you to the other side of this. Okay, so if you started uh, going there, so you'd be around here, you'd go outward and then grab the next ball and go from the blue back inward, and it would be a, a completely different color shade opportunity. So this is using a six and a half millimeter size K crochet hook today. And my favorite part, yes, you know me well, if you don't, now you do. <laughs> and my favorite part, of course, is that big crochet diagram on the back here. We're going to want to place in our stitch markers here in the middle so that we can keep an eye on it. And it's just a repeat of seven and eight over and over and over until the cows come home. And when you're doing that, it's going to naturally just grow on itself. And then the edging is the final when you're ready. So after the end of doing number eight, you can apply your edging. I'm going to use an older color of Karen Colorama Halo today because I have extra stock left over from before. And I'm going to play. And now is our opportunity to learn something new. Let's begin. So let's begin by creating a slip knot and let's chain a total of four. One, two, three, and four, and slip stitch to the fourth one away to create the center ring. And now when you go around the center, the left over here, you're just gonna trap underneath the stitches so you don't have to weave those in later. And we're ready for row number one. Row number one, we're going to start, we're going to be using this strand later, but in, that's in row number two. So here we go, we're going to chain three, so one, two, and three, and put two more double crochet into the center of the ring. So we have one and two. Followed by a chain five, so one, two, three, four, five. And then in the center of the ring again, a double crochet. This is the very center of your shawl that would be running down your back. And then we're gonna chain five again. So one, two, three, four, and five. And in the center of the ring again, the last three double crochets go in. So we have one, two, and three. At the end of each row, just turn your work and we're going to begin row number two. If you went over top of the straggler like I did, you can just safely cut that down, be done with it, and let's move on to row number two. Row number two, you're going to chain four, which will count as a treble. So we say one, two, three, and four. And then in the next two double crochets that you have, there'll be one double crochet each. So you're going to notice is that your edging will always be the same on both sides. Now you're going to chain three. One, two, and three. And in this chain five space right here, you're going to apply three trebles, chain one, and three trebles. So wrap the hook twice for a treble and do that three times. So we have one, two, three, and then followed by a chain one, and then again, three more trebles into that same spot. So we have one, two, and three. And now we're going to head to the center that runs down the back and you're going to chain two. I'm recommending to you just in one of the chains, just put this stitch marker through it so that you can see it. 
and just let it hold there. And therefore that represents the middle of the shawl. So in shawl work like this, what happens on one side happens on the other, it's like a mirror. So now we're just gonna head over to this chain five space and we're gonna start with three trebles. So we'll count those together. So we have one, two, and three, followed by a chain one, and then three more trebles in there again. So we have one, two, and three. We're now going to chain three. And in the last three that you have, the first two will be a double crochet each. So we have one and two. And what do you think you're gonna do in the turning chain? It'll be a treble because we started off with the chain four. So wrap the hook twice, go right into the turning chain. Don't go into a space and just go right into the chain work for a treble. And that will conclude then row number two. Let's turn your work and let's do row number three. Row number three, we're going to chain four. Yes, it's always gonna be the same when you start. So one, two, three, and four. And the next two double crochets will be one double crochet each. This will not change until you get to the edge border. So now we're going to chain three, one, two, three. And in this space right here, you're going to apply a cluster. And how you do that is that you yarn over and going into that space, pull through, pull through two and hold and do that a total of three times. So that was one, yarn over again, in, pull through, pull through two and hold, and one more time. So yarn over and in, pull through, pull through two and hold. Once you see your four loops there, you're good to go, and you're gonna yarn over, pull through all four, and there is your cluster. You're now going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And look for the chain one space that is in between the two groups of the trebles that you see right here. So it's the next space technically. So you're going to single crochet there, and then you're going to chain five. So one, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna hit the center point now, and this will be a double crochet first. And then we're going to chain five again. So we have one, two, three, four, and five and double crochet into the space and I would do it on the opposite side of that stitch marker if you're using those and it's still the same space I'm just doing the opposite side of it and what I would recommend then is move that stitch marker up to that space it's just to let you know where that center point is so you don't get lost and pull it up and leave it in the existing and you can see a line that's going to run through this whole thing as you go and as you get bigger you can just keep pulling that up so you don't need a huge strand there. So what happened on one side happens on the other. So we're going to chain five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then I am going to single crochet into this chain one space. Okay, so it's after the treble. And then we're going to chain five. So we're going to one, two, three, four, five, and look for this space right here. It's after this group of trebles, and we're gonna do a cluster again. So yarn over and into the space, pull through, pull through two and hold, and you wanna do that three times. Once you see the four loops, you're done. Pull through everything, and then we're gonna head into this area here and we're going to chain three before you do that. So one, two, three, and then you have your three stitches left. So the first two will be double crochet. And what will that turning chain be? Yeah, that's right, it's gonna be a treble. And if you didn't say treble, then you meant to say treble. <laughs> 
Okay, so this here is row number three and we're gonna turn our work and you can kind of see how things are starting to work out. Let's go for number four. Yes, you are going to chain four. So one, two, three, four, and the next two, yeah, you got it, it is a double crochet each. Now you're going to chain a total of three. So one, two, and three. And right in this space before the cluster, you're going to apply three trebles, chain one, and three treble. This is what causes the growth on this whole thing. So you're gonna start with three trebles. And then you're going to chain one and then three more trebles into that same space. Feels wrong, but it's right in every way. Now, because this yarn phases, it's gonna be changing its tones really slowly. You may not notice for a while. Once these three are in, this next space right here, just single crochet right around the space. Chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. And then see this next space, single crochet there. Now we're gonna get ready. And on this side right here, this is the middle one. We're gonna just focus on the, this side of the middle though. And we're gonna start with three treble, chain one, three treble. So let's just do that. Okay, three treble are in, chain one, and again, three more treble into the center. This is what also helps do the growth. You're now going to chain two, one and two, and I want you to move the stitch marker up. So just pull it through and then keep on going. So starting on th still the center point, you're gonna do three trebles. So we have one, two, and three, followed by a chain one and three more trebles again into the center. There's a lot going on in the center. So when you look at it here, so this is what helps grow it to be more in the future and so is this and you're gonna notice it will expand naturally on its own. So after that's done, we're going to single crochet into the next chain five space. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Single crochet into the next space right here. And then into the next space after this, you're going to do the same thing of three treble, chain one, three treble. So let's just do that, I'll do it quietly. three trebles, chain one and three trebles. And then after that is done, we need to chain three, one, two, three, and now you have your edging. And so the first two will be a double crochet each. And what is the last one gonna be? It'll be a treble into the turning chain. Try to get two of the strands on top of the hook for being extra secure. And that's what this looks like. So that was this row here, number four. Let's turn our work and do number five.
So in this row here, number five, you're going to notice is that one row we focus on clusters and the other row we focus on the shell work, which we just did. So that's how this growth is going to happen naturally. So row number five, we're going to start off with chain four, one, two, three, four, and then the next two double crochets will be a double crochet each. The first cluster out is, is going to be in this space right here, but you need to chain three before you do it. So one, two, three, and cluster right into the next space. Essentially, it's like a three together double crochet, to be honest. So once you see the four loops, just pull through all four. Now the rest of the jumping is all gonna be chaining fives until you get to the other side. So we're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and go to the space that is in the middle of this group. So you have three double crochet, or three treble, chain one and three treble, it's right here. So single crochet there, chain five, one, two, three, four, five. And now the game plan is gonna change. So here there's going to be a cluster, chain five, and a cluster all within the space. So let's do our cluster first. Chain five. And a cluster again. You're now going to chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and see this group here? There's a treble, chain one and a treble. Just use your fingers, just pull it apart if you don't see it. You're just gonna single crochet into this spot right here. Now you're going to chain five, so one, two, three, four, five, and then in the middle here, this is where the stitch marker is, you're going to apply a double crochet. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and then in the same center spot, just double crochet again. Now, move that stitch marker up to the middle of that group so that you'll see it again in the future. and it's getting a little bit shorter, so I can just pull up on it just to keep pulling it up so I can see it, and we work down the opposite side. So to start again, everything's in chains of five. So one, two, three, four, five. We come into this next space after the three trebles, single crochet, and then chain five. So one, two, three, four, five and into this chain five space right here, you're going to do a cluster, chain five, and a cluster. Sorry about the dog. So we have a first cluster going in, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and then a cluster again. pull through all of it, and then chain five. So one, two, three, four, five. Come into this chain one space after this treble, single crochet in, and then chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And now you're gonna cluster in this chain three that's close to the edge. So we'll do a cluster first. and then you're going to chain three. So one, two, three, and then you're back on the edge. And it's going to be two double crochet to start, and then a, a treble into the turning chain. And that'll complete row number five. Like that. So let's turn our work and lay it down. 
and it's turning out pretty great. So let's move along to row number six. Let's begin row number six, chain four, and then two double crochets in a row. You're going to chain three, so one, two, three, and in this chain three space right here, you are going to apply three double or three treble, one chain, and three treble. And I'll do it quietly with you. So three trebles in, chain one, and three more treble. Reach on over and get this next chain five space and just single crochet there and that stabilizes that and holds it into position. And now we're going to chain five. So one, two, three, four, five, and go to the next space right here. So it's before the cluster. So every time you're putting in these clusters of a cluster, chain five and a cluster, this becomes the new shell work that will happen, which is part of the expansion that you'll see happening. So once this one is in, you are just going to reach on over to this that's in between the two clusters and you are going to apply, yes, that's three trebles, chain one and three trebles. Are you starting to see a pattern? Hopefully so. Let me know how you're doing in the comments. So start with three treble. chain one and three trebles. Are you seeing the phasing happening at all? I'm not seeing it yet. I think I need more, more of it to really see it happening. It's a nice gradual change. So three treble, chain one, three treble. You are now going to single crochet into the next chain and this will hold it down. And so you see that the two treble are the two clusters here become the foundation of a fan in the future. Chain five, one, two, three, four, and five, and then come into this space here and single crochet. Now in this space here, it's just like we did here. So it's three treble, chain one, three treble. Then you have your middle, which is chain two, and then three treble, chain one, and a three treble again. So we'll just start. So we'll put in our three treble to begin. I think that was a double. We'll try it again. Okay, chain one and then three more treble that is still part of the same side. So I'm staying on the one side of the stitch marker to help me keep more organized in my head. So once the one side's done, chain two, and I would move the stitch marker up so you can see it again in the future. And then do the opposite side of the same center point so it'll be three treble to begin. Gotta keep remembering to wrap that hook twice. So we have one, two, three, followed by a chain one and three more treble. And that's all happening at the center point. Okay, so let's come down the opposite side. The next space is going to be a single crochet followed by a chain one or chain five. So one, two, three, four, five, and single crochet into the next space. This one here is the clusters. So right in the middle, so the cluster, chain five and a cluster is going to be your three trebles, chain one and three trebles. So let's do that.
chain one, and then three more trebles. Once that's done, come to the next space, single crochet, and then you're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and single crochet into this next space. In the last space before the edge, it's going to be three trebles, chain one and three trebles. I don't know what that banging is. I think it's outside. So we have three trebles to start. Chain one and three more trebles. Okay, so that's all there. And now you're going to chain three and then do your edging with what you know. So it's gonna be two double crochet. And what will the last stitch be? Yeah, that's right. It's gonna be a treble in the turning chain. So let's turn and work and we're ready for row number seven and eight, which is the repeat for the whole thing until you're ready for the edging. And this is the back of your shawl here and you can really see it coming together now. This video has time markers in the video description. So if you would just want to review seven and eight over and over, you can just open that up and just click on that time marker and it will start you on row number seven. So let's begin row number seven next. We're going to chain four, one, two, three, four, and then one double into the next two. Are you getting used to this pattern? Let me know in the comments how you're doing. Okay, so now you're gonna chain three. So one, two, three, and then we're gonna cluster into the same space right here. We did that same before, if you recall. So hopefully you're starting to see a pattern happening. followed by a chain five. Everything is in sets of chain five. So one, two, three, four, five. And I want you to single crochet into the space that is gonna separate this group. And yes, you're gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, five. So right here in this space, we're gonna create our cluster, chain five in a cluster, and this will be looking like this. And so it's shifting over so that we can create more space to make more of these. So we're gonna cluster. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and cluster again. So this is the foundation for another shell that will happen in the next row. And so we keep repeating the same instructions until we get to the center point. So every time you're doing this row, you're going to have more of these to do. So you'll chain five, so one, two, three, four, five, and always separate then the next shell here in the chain one space, just put a single, and then you're going to chain five again. So one, two, three, four, five, and this space, we're going to do another cluster, chain five, and a cluster. So these spaces will get more and more as you're working its way out. Chain five, and cluster again. So in this case here on row number seven, is just that we're gonna end up in the center point, but if it wasn't, you're just chain five, and we're still gonna chain five anyway. So one, two, three, four, five. And if you ran into 
another one that looked like this, you single crochet it, chain five, and then put in another cluster if you have another space like this. In this case, we're about to run into the top, so you're just gonna have more of these as you go in the repeating. So single crochet and separate the first group. So it's after the first treble, or the first three trebles. And then you are going to chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and then double crochet into the top. And then chain five, one, two, three, four, five. And I would move that stitch marker up. So you can see it again in the future. And if you're comfortable without it, then don't. Just leave it out. Once the five is in there, double crochet into the center again. And now we're gonna come down the opposite side. So chain five to begin. So one, two, three, four, five. Separate the, the shell that you see there with the chain one space, single crochet there. Then chain five, one, two, three, four, five. And then this space right here, see how it's in between the shell work? This space will be the new cluster. So it'll be a cluster, chain five, and cluster. So look for those repeating to make it easier for yourself. One, two, three, four, five, and then cluster again. So it's only close to the edge that there's a cluster by itself and all the rest of the clusters always share the same space when there's group two like that. So chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Go into the next space. And then one, two, three, four, five. And then you have another space. So these spaces will get more and more the bigger that you grow. So it'll take a while to get to the edging eventually as you grow this thing out. So you're gonna do your cluster, chain five, and cluster again. Okay, so then if you had to add another one, it was chain five and then you would go into the middle of another group of like this and so on and so on until you get closer to the edge. So I'm gonna chain five, two, three, four, five, single crochet into the chain one space. And then you're gonna chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and this is just before the edge, so there's just gonna be one lonely cluster by itself. So we have one cluster, followed always by a chain three, and then you worry about your edge. So two double crochet to start, and then the last one is a treble in the turning chain. Okay, so this is repeating row number seven. And so it'll just get wider the more that you keep doing that. Let's just do row number eight, turn our work. Row number eight, chain four, so one, two, three, four, and double crochet in the next two. So now we're gonna chain three, so one, two, three. And you see what you did two rows below, see this? So you're following with what you exactly see below. And so we're gonna do that here. So we're gonna do three treble, followed by a chain one and three treble. If you see me doing a double crochet by accident, it is a mistake. Sometimes my mouth and my hands don't do the same thing. I don't do voiceover work like other hosts. So chain one and then three more trebles into the same spot. So really this row is all about filling in the spaces that you created in the last row. And the last row is what creates the growth to happen. And this one just follows the suit really. So now that that's in, you're going to come to the space, single crochet. And then you are going to chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and then single crochet into this space right here. So the clusters are gonna hold those big shells 
just like it did before. Okay, and so it'll be three treble, chain one and three treble. Just like that. Come to this next space, single crochet in, and chain five to jump. So one, two, three, four, five, and jump. And then in this next space, you see the two clusters. That's gonna be another one of these three trebles, chain one and three trebles. This is actually a really easy pattern. I thought it was gonna be, but it truly is. Are you seeing the phasing happening yet? I think I can see it slightly, slightly getting darker. Once that's in, single crochet to the next, and then chain five, one, two, three, four, five, single crochet to the next, and now you're ready for the center. So the center is exactly like you see over here. So it'll be three treble, chain one, three treble, chain two, three treble, chain one, and three treble. Let's do that all here and move that stitch marker up in the middle. chain two this is the center and then come down the other side so it's going to be three treble to begin but it's the same space don't forget that so i've been noticing your inspirations is using stitch markers more and more on these shawls which is a great idea chain one and three more trebles in so if you trust yourself with the middle then you don't have to use those stitch markers. But if it makes your life easier, which I think it does, then you just keep moving them up as you go. There's no harm in that, right? So come down the other side. So you're going to single crochet into this next chain five space. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five and then single crochet into there. And this here is going to be another one of those three treble, chain one and three treble. And noticing that the two clusters are below. So that helps you to be able to know that you're doing it right. I'm sorry if I'm mansplaining. Am I mansplaining? You can let me know in the comments. <laughs> so you're gonna go into the next space, single crochet, and yes, you're gonna jump again, so chain five. Single crochet in the next space. There's the two clusters that you see, so this has to be one of those big bad boys here. So the three trebles will go in, followed by a chain one and three treble. Okay, single crochet into the next. Just let this work tell you what it needs to do. So chain five, so one, two, three, four, five, single crochet into the next. And then in this space before the edge, it's again one of these big bad boys. So it's three trebles, chain one, three treble. I have a hard time saying treble on these videos. So three trebles. 
good they don't use that word very often, I think. Chain one and three trebles again. And then what are you gonna do after these last three trebles are in? Did you say chain three? If you didn't, that's okay, I never heard you, so let's just say you did. So chain three, so that's always consistent. And then you come to your edge. So the first two are doubles. And what is that last one? It's a treble into the turning chain. So this is the end of row number eight. And the consistency now to get bigger is gonna be coming more and more obvious. You can see that it's kind of flexible and it's really quite pretty. And let's go back to the diagram and let's talk about your growth and the growth is working out just wonderfully like this. So in the diagram, what we've had here, now we just did row number seven before, and you can see that there's gonna be two clusters when we did it the first time in number seven. The next time you're going to do this now for row number nine, you're just gonna repeat these steps, but there's gonna be an extra cluster because you have an extra stitch going into this. And so the extra cluster, you're gonna have a cluster here and here and here. And then you'll do row number eight, again, just filling in all those spaces, and then you'll have an extra one of these shells that you were putting in. And so that'll happen on both sides. And so every time you're now increasing, you will have two clusters groups here, it'll be three, and then it will be four and five and et cetera. So if you wanna keep a note on that, you can do that. But what I'm ready for now is to show you how to finish this off when you're ready. So at the end of any row number eight, so after these shells have gone in, you're ready for row number um, one of the edging, and that's where you're gonna begin. And let's begin our journey from that point. So on the first one, we're gonna be ending right here. No matter what you did, row number eight will end you here. And when you start the next row, which is the first one of the edging, you're going to just automatically treble into the middle one here and then you're going to chain one and treble and keep on doing that so you have one two three four five six seven eight nine so these all have nine that you'll see right here and the only difference is that the middle one there is a total of, of six and then you're back to your nines all the way to the edge so you're going to have a lot more of these to do because it's going to be much bigger and that's all you just need to do so when you get the first set in chain one and then you're just going to half double crochet into the space so just look at see what these fans are you're just creating a fan on top of the fan if that makes it your life a lot easier to know that let's begin the edging row number one so it's just a matter of repeating all yourself until you get to the center, which I will show you how to get there. So we're going to start and you're gonna look for this space right over here and you are going to start with the treble. So wrap the hook twice and go right into the space, noticing that I'm not chaining one or anything before I start. So this is considered one of nine. So chain one and do it again. So treble and chain one. I would not necessarily count as I go, but you can do that and just put in a whack of them, meaning many, and just do it until you think you have nine and then just recount. So just keep chaining one in between. Okay, I'm gonna stop and see how many I have. So don't forget to chain one after the last trouble. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have to do another one. So eight, chain one and wrap again and do nine. And don't forget the chain one after. So verify you have nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then you're just gonna reach to the space and just half double crochet in the space and chain one and restart again. So look for this space here and you're gonna keep doing that until you get to the center. So just reach on over and put in your nine and then chain one. Don't forget the chain one in between all of it. And you're gonna keep going to the center. So three, four, five, six, seven, just keep 
keep on going. Just make sure you chain one after each. So I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then you just reach on over and half double crochet to the next space. So keep doing that on all of these and I will meet you at the center point. So you're gonna put another group here, another group here, and I will see you right on the center point. So you'll have a lot more to do. Uh, and I will be back at the center point in a moment. I'm now here at the center point, so I'm on the one side. So in the center point, I do not chain one after this, the ninth one, and I just go right into the center point and I start applying six. And after I get the first one in, I start chaining one again. So one is done and two, don't forget to chain one after. This is three. four, five, and six. And after the end of number six, do not chain one. And you're just gonna reach over to this space right here and start going down the other side. And uh, the first one, you do not chain one to start, but you start putting your nine and then chain ones, and then chain one after that group, half double crochet into the space, chain one, and then you'll put your nine in and etc. And I'll see you at the end of the row in just a moment. So keep on going and let's get this done. So when you're coming to the final edge, you'll have one big fan here. You have all of this here and all you just need to do in the turning chain, just slip stitch. So don't chain one after that, just slip stitch into the turning chain. And then you're ready for the final row, which is number two of the edging. Okay, so it'll look like that. So let's turn our work and let's do the final row together. The final row should be relatively quick and you should just chain one and single crochet in the same one as the slip stitch. And now you're gonna chain two and go to the space after the first treble. And then you're just gonna chain two between them. So just chain two and go to the next space and single crochet and chain two. Let's keep doing this on this fan and I'll tell you what to do next in just a moment. So what I'm looking for is when the fans change over to the next fan. So I'm looking for the space of the last treble right here. And I've single crocheted and I'm gonna chain two and I'm gonna immediately jump to the space after this next treble on this one. And so I start again, so single crochet, chain two and keep following that up. Okay, so when you get to the end here, you're gonna single crochet in the space before the last treble, chain two, and then single crochet into the space after this treble, and make sure you're chaining two in between. Please do that, and I'll see you at the top peak in just a moment, so at the top back of your shawl. So I'm coming up close to where the middle is, and I'm just chaining two, and I'm looking for where this fan stops, which is right here and where the middle of those six are. So I'm stopping in the space just before the last one of this fan. So then chain two, and then I jump into the space after the first treble of the next here, a group of six. So it's like it was before, there's just six instead of nine. And so you chain two after each one of those. And when you're finished the six, you just jump to the next fan. So this is the space before this fan finishes. Chain two and then jump in the space after the next fan starts. And then chain two and work your way down the other side. And again, handling the spaces in between the fans like you did on this side. Please do this all the way to the end. I'll be right back. So I'm coming to my last fan before the end and I'm just working my single crochets and chain twos. And the secret will be then after the second last one, so before the last, is single crochet and then chain two. And I am going to single crochet then into the turning chain right here. And that will make it balanced on both sides. And so therefore you can weave in your ends using your tapestry needle. And 
And so you're gonna be able to tell what is the good side and the wrong side. So this is the good side of the work I can tell because these are kind of cupping away uh, to me and these are kind of cupping away from me. So this is the back. So anytime you have to weave in your ends, just focus on the back of your shawl. So when you're wearing it, only the good side is facing up that people will see when they're looking at you. And just take your loose end and just weave it into the work. Stay within the same color. Okay, so if your fading colors are more pronounced, just stay within the same color. And just weave in your ends back and forth a total of three times. And once you have that done, you can safely cut your work. And your ends would be in, and this would be an example of what it could look like pretty neat, right? So this here is the Fading Shells Crochet Shawl by Yarnspirations.com.